let's do it. All right, welcome everybody um, to our discussion right now. We're talking about maintaining healthy blood pressure using essential oils and natural solutions. Um, and here's Jake Baldwin. Thank you. So thank you everybody for joining us and thank you Ben for helping us put all these together. Um, so I was surprised when I first started essential oils how much it could do for my family. I had no idea. Uh, I just wanted to sleep better and I just wanted maybe to help with my back and not use drugs. And I had no idea how amazing it can be. So of course I got my mom and my sister onto doTERRA right away as soon as I joined because you, you do that naturally because you've got a good thing. And um, of course my mom says, well, you think it can help me with my blood pressure? And I thought, I don't know, let me look it up. Um, and uh, of course we started using supplements and um, we tried to do a bit of a change. Uh, it wasn't until my mom had cancer that we made a really big change in her diet and everything else because it threw us off a little bit because the word cancer was scary. But anyways, um, we, we used the oils on my mom and I'll share with you the blend that we used. And about um, two years into it, um, I mean, she was reducing her medications as she was going along and the doctor saying that she was doing great every time she'd see the doctor. And um, yeah, after about two years, she was done with her medications and the doctor said, oh, I don't think you need this anymore because um, she's, she's doing great. But I remember for years and years, she's had this um, medication for her blood pressure and all sorts of things. She, she takes headache medicine um, and she'll have this vertigo that's really, really bad. And that's when she was just totally um, uh, zoned out and we have to just lay down and she'll be out for you know a few days and then it kind of lingered for another week or so. Um, so it was it was a hard um, thing for her to get over. And uh, you know, I didn't even know that uh, there was something that we could actually help us with. Uh, so um, my mom started with the supplements, the Lifelong Vitality supplements, okay? And then she started drinking oils every day. So mostly the citrus oils. Um, and then her body started to detox. We didn't even do the detoxing yet. We didn't even know about the detoxing. We just started um, supplements and just lemon oil and grapefruit oil and all those citrus oils. Um, and slowly, you know, we, as we learned, we replaced the hydrogen, hydrogenated <laughs> oils with, you know, extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil in our cooking, reducing wheat, reducing coffees and teas. And she was more strict with her broadest vegetarian diet. Um, and things started to shift and it was, it's all amazing. Um, anyways. So, I, yeah, I was going to say, um, you know, treating blood pressure, like we do a lot of things, yeah. make sure your body is as healthy as it can be. Yeah. Um, we're not saying, you know, there's, here's the cure to blood pressure or anything. Yeah. The cure is to, you know, make sure the body um, is as healthy and empowered mm -hmm. as it can be yeah. to deal with the things that we're yeah. into. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think after she was, um, after the doctor said that she could take herself off, actually um, once or twice she had a little bit of a dizzy spell, but it was very mild and sometimes um, she, it would, she would get over it within an hour or so. And uh, she would rub ylang ylang um, on her ears, over her heart and on her feet and for, her, for the blood to um, slow down a little bit and she felt much better. And so she knew what to do for herself. She didn't even have to make that whole blend up anymore. Um, but she used that blend um, very, very regularly, um, morning and night, for I think the first two years. So that was awesome. So if you are not claiming to be the expert in um, blood pressure or anything, but um, share with you what I know, and um, you can take that and start from there. But if you have been diagnosed with some sort of blood pressure concern, don't get overwhelmed and panic or anything. It's, you know, sometimes people think, oh, that's for life and I have to take my blood pressure medication and all these things. Uh, you, you may find that um, you can heal from that and, re and return to good health. Okay, like everything we do, we tell people to take that holistic approach. So we clean ourselves, we feed and nourish ourselves, we get really good sleep and rest, 
and we manage our emotions and um, we support the body with essential oils. Okay, so like anything, any health concerns. Um, so I've had plenty of friends come back to me and say, you, you know, I'm done. My doctor said I can get off my medication. So um, that's awesome to hear. And if that's your um, experience, please go ahead and share that with me too. Because the more stories I hear, um, the more it strengthens um, my confidence and helps me continue to, to do what I do here, is to okay. share information. We have some uh, people on the on the call here with us. Does anybody have any like experience they yeah, want please. to share? Or? Yeah. Or questions. Okay. Okay. Um, I know Peaches, you're you are a nurse, so um, you can share with us some of the information that you know, um, and uh, you know I would really appreciate that. Okay. Um, so of course we cleanse ourselves with that 30 day cleanse and restore. Um, so we keep you telling people to do that cleanse because it's very important. Uh, sometimes people do a three day cleanse and I, I laugh because I hear people say, hey, I just did a really good cleanse. And I say, what do you, what do, you do? Well, I just juiced and um, yeah, we did a cleanse. And I'm like, ooh, how long? Three days. And I thought, well, <laughs> yeah, because our, our organs and our pipes inside, it just, it's a long journey, so a little bit more than that. And in fact, the 30-day cleanse, you want to do that every quarter. Um, and you know when you did a good cleanse, when you've got more energy, when you know all of these body organs work better, you go to the bathroom more often, about at least three times for number two um, a day, and you sleep better, um, you know, your brain is thinking clearer, your emotions are more stable. All those clues help you know that um, you've done a good cleanse. If not, then um, do it again after a few months and uh, you, you'll keep doing that until you feel better, okay? So, um, you know. And it might take you several times to yeah. get all the toxins. Yeah, so the first time my mom used oil, she's great. Uh, she eats cleaner than dad. Um, he was like, I don't know, I don't feel anything. And um, after a while, um, he thought that it was that GX assist that, that did it for him. And so he kept on saying that, that GX assist gives me energy. And I just kept trying to tell him that it cleansed him out more. And of course now he has energy that he absorbed from his food. Because in the past he wasn't absorbing the food well. Okay, so that's it. If you cleanse your cells, your cells can communicate better and it will function optimally. Okay, because the cells are always trying to communicate with each other and we have toxins and debris in the way. All right, so of course your cells need um, nutrients. It needs to have good building blocks. Uh, so I have a link here to Dr. Mercola. He's one of my favorite references and I have um, followed him for a while. Um, he said your diet will raise or lower your blood pressure. So basically, you know, he thinks it's, very, very, very diet based, which is true. Okay, so eat a healthy diet uh, with lots of healthy fats. And some people think it's low fat. No, healthy fats, guys, and whole foods, um, reduce commercial grains and re reduce the refined sugar. Um, so, our family, we eat a lot of avocado and a lot of coconut oil and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's really good for us. Um, so Dr. McCullough says, uh, chances are that if you have hypertension, you also have poorly controlled blood sugar levels because these two problems often go hand in hand. So he's, he talk, goes on and um, talks about uh, the uric acid. Um, do you want to read that thing? The uric this acid. This one here. Fructose breaks down into a variety of waste products that are bad for your body, one being uric acid. Uric acid drives up your blood pressure by inhibiting the nitric oxide in your blood vessel. Nitric oxide helps your vessels maintain their elasticity. So nitric oxide suppression leads to an increase of in blood pressure. In fact, 17 out of 17 studies demonstrate that elevated uric acid levels lead to hypertension. 
so you know basically he's saying that the diet is very important okay so he goes on to talk more about what kind of diet in particular so you can click there and um, read his article uh, but for um, most people basically it's you know like we said it's lots of healthy fats whole foods you know reducing those commercial grains and reducing the refined sugar and it's a good place to start hi Stacy so um, no matter how well we eat unfortunately in our day and age um, we still need to supplement okay we still need to supplement so our recommendation is of course the doTERRA lifelong vitality pack and um, for people that have the um, uh, blood pressure concern make sure you take the cellular vitality complex which is the alpha crs okay so make sure you get that um so that that purple one there okay so the lifelong vitality pack the whole thing all right that will be very important uh doTERRA so does everybody understand what the difference between the different uh supplements doTERRA supplements are so you've got your vitamins um, yeah. and minerals, mm -hmm. you've got your omega oils and essential oils, and then you've got a herbal complex, which is the alpha cigarettes. Yeah, that's right. It's for your cells. So it helps repair your cells, cleanses your cells and things. So that's really good. Um, I really appreciate how much work doTERRA puts into the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And for the Aussies, you have the Lifelong Vitality Pack now after all of these years. Um, Local. Yep, local, right? And, um, you know, it's food based and they made it so that it's absorbable. Even the omega oils are very small in molecular size, so it can pass through the water layers of your intestines and it can be absorbed uh, right through into your lymph channels. So that's a pretty amazing technology. But they also give you um, a whole spectrum of vitamins and minerals and a whole spectrum of omega oils. So, you know, that's really, you can't find that anywhere else. And I've tried to do supplements before and my body just rejected it over and over again. So that was what's right about my body. And we could do a whole class. Maybe in the future we should do a whole class yeah. on just yeah, for like on vitality. Oh, well, else. It's, it's awesome. It would, you know, break down all the benefits of it and um, the ingredients too. But uh, the other important thing about feeding cells, so it's great that we eat well, but uh, we need to be exercising. So at least basically it means to be moving at least 20 minutes every day so that um, the blood can flow throughout your body and take nutrients to different parts. Okay, so there's no um, congestion in your blood flow. Anyone with questions or comments so far? Okay. All right, so we'll just move on. If you guys want to say anything, just feel free to um, just talk and raise your hand or uh, type in that chat box, okay? So just a quick overview maybe. Yeah, okay. Um, so we, we've got um, blood pressure. Uh, we're taking a holistic approach, which yep. means number one, Clean your cells right. in order to feed and nourish your cells. And now yes. we're going to talk about sleep and rest. Yes. Yeah. I've had friends with diabetes and things. Um, and of course, that they have high blood pressure too, more often than not. Um, and so when that, this helps, uh, this clears up, um, the diabetes actually clear up and, you know, things just, everything feels better and looks better. Um, so it goes hand in hand. Okay, all right, the next thing is very important is rest and sleep. Okay, so of course, when our body rests, it will um, be in our a repair mode. It starts to balance up, okay, and it helps with recovery, right? So that's cellular recovery. Okay, so we have some fantastic oils to help you relax, and we do have a link to, um, uh, a link to our sleep um, post too so I don't want to take too much time explaining sleep but uh, while we sleep we're detoxing while we sleep we balance our hormones while we sleep our um, body starts to renew itself okay <clears throat> um, 
The other thing too is to rest and relax. Sorry. Okay. So if we can um, use some oils to relax, it, um, basically you're just smelling the essential oils. And when you smell essential oils, your brain will produce happy chemicals. And these happy chemicals are the chemicals that help you heal and repair and return to how you were before. Um, some oils that uh, will be good for people that do have some um, blood pressure concerns. And I mentioned it below, but I, I just have oils that I haven't mentioned below that, that I'm going to mention here. Okay, there's good too for um, blood pressure. So we have wintergreen, okay, uh, clary sage, melissa, thyme, dill, and dill is available once in a while. I just saw that it's um, sold out <laughs> just recently. Black pepper, and manuka. Um, sorry for the people in the US, um, it will be, it's available in Australia. So um, <laughs> you might want to make some friends, <laughs> people in Australia. Um, and white fur, Douglas fir, and eucalyptus. So I have friends that do the smell test. Um, <laughs> So you can just you know, pick some of these oils and smell it and just see which one your body is asking for, um, just to help calm. And uh, of course, when you're calming, your blood pressure isn't uh, so elevated. That's really important. Um, does anybody have any stories or anything to share about any of these oils or um, an experience that you have? I don't have anything necessarily that has worked yet, but I know we've been using lots of different oils um, for Aaron, for my husband, and they've been effective. I don't really know which ones to pinpoint, but that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, it's going to be hard to pinpoint exactly one thing, because uh, what we're um, used to is that one peel for an ill kind of approach. And so sometimes it's the combined um, results of everything that you're doing too. But uh, we'll, we'll narrow things down a little bit here uh, just to help you guys. Um, but these are some of the oils that help with um, managing that emotion, uh, okay? Yeah, I, I know what, what Beth's saying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you, mm -hmm. you're trying to address a certain um, mm -hmm. thing and everybody says this works for you this works for you and you seem to try all those things and mm -hmm. um you, you keep on trying and testing and, and things they do find like i i, I agree with, um, beth you know there's there's some things that work at some points and stuff yeah um, it, it's it's a little bit different than you know just going out and like taking uh, pharmaceuticals that kind of yeah. numb everything yeah okay so I want to move on to this emotion part. Just on the sleep and rest. Okay, yep. Um, I don't know if we've covered um, just these oils, but, you know, like uh, lavender or um, mm -hmm. Roman chamomile, better yep. balance. Um, yeah, because down here we have those oils. Good. And um, that's, uh, that's why I said <clears throat> I'll mention the oils that we were not going to mention later on. Good. Um, so yep. that's all. Those are the big guns. Yeah, yep, that's right. So these are the others or helping you feel calm. So of course, sleep is great and important to so make sure you get that sleep in. Um, this here, managing emotions, I feel like this is the foundation. Um, I feel like if we don't address this, we hold on and we don't allow ourselves, uh, our cells to assimilate. And because we don't allow the cells to assimilate, even essential oils, um, it doesn't work as effectively because we're not allowing it to work and do its job, okay? Um, and we have to want to. We have to want to let it do, and we have to choose it. Uh, can't be, you know, can't be put upon us and thrown upon us. I know my uncle, when he had blood pressure problems and diabetes and everything, his wife and his daughter, they kind of threw oils at him and kind of, you know, um, forced him to do it all and you know at the end they were frustrated and he was frustrated and he's all it doesn't work um so i told him i said just back off and let him do it himself and after a while i said hey uncle when you're ready to heal uh let me know and i'll show you how to do it so he can feel like he's in control 
because high blood pressure is about people who don't feel like they're in control and they want to be in control. So sometimes they can be quite controlling, um, you know, on the outside, but their subconscious, the deep fear is they're not in control. If you really dig deep, deep into um, their subconscious, it's that belief, okay? Um, so uh, they have to feel somehow that uh, they can, you know, allow things to happen on their own and trust that people and things will, will turn out right. Not that they need to um, give up, but um, to micromanage less or to worry less, okay? Um, allowing people and situations to bother you. Uh, so like what we were talking about earlier with cardamom, um, you know, we, we get, let people get under our skin, let people get under our nerves and it bothers us. Um, and basically below all that is fear, fear that they, they might affect us some way negatively. If we feel this um, faith of, and confidence and love, um, we don't have that fear. So, you know, people can do silly stuff around us without really bothering us, okay? Um, so once we identify that and take our take a responsibility for our own feelings, um, that really helps. Uh, letting your emotions and reactions rule you is another thing um, that uh, affects blood pressure. Okay, uh, so that means giving away your power, blaming. Um, so my mom had that because she felt like you know being a Vietnam, um, uh, you know refugee you know all of these things happen to us and and more things will happen to us more bad things and she's trying to stay positive but uh, the subconscious is always worried about things happening to us so here um, she had to learn to to say look I can control my life um, you know I'm not gonna let things um, get to me and worry me okay so things can happen that's fine but I'm safe okay um, not minding your own business and interfering with others. That, that, I think that's my mom. Because, <laughs> you know, what are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you talking to? My sister's like, I don't want to tell you anything. Um, but uh, we, you know, we, we grew up and we had to teach her that, uh, you know, it's okay. We're okay. You're okay. <laughs> you don't have to know everything. All right. So that's the, the, the thing that was bothering her. Um, and that will elevate your blood pressure. Okay, and the other thing is long-standing emotional problems not solved. And uh, I've said things uh, many times that, uh, you know, when you meet certain people and they will almost immediately tell you their life story or their one, uh, you know, problem with this one person or one situation um, because they're, they're not allowing it to be digested properly and, you know, resolved. And this is why some of the oils that come up, you'll find that it's like really really good for that um, to help people metabolize and let go okay so these are the things if you you know have a issue with that high blood pressure um, you know just look at some of these things and allow yourself to um, to see this in you okay um, holding on to the fear and denying it um, doesn't do you any good so um, just see if you can change in this way, okay? But you have to choose. No one can force you, you can choose, okay? So the low blood pressure, you know, before I go on, sorry, I'm just gonna, gonna stop here and ask anybody with any questions or comments. Oh, good. All right. Okay, so for the low blood pressure, people with low blood pressure, um, being more devoted to outside things than yourself. Okay, so not giving enough attention and energy and like um, to, to you and who you are. Okay, not loving yourself. Um, loss of enthusiasm and drive. You know, loss of, loss of enthusiasm and drive for life. Okay, so that's why lime is one of those oils that are really good for um, this. Okay, and the last point here is that lack of love as a child, uh, feeling defeated, okay, and um, their motto is, what's the use? It won't work anyways. Um, I see that a lot in some people that are unwell, 
Um, it's like they've already decided that the oil's not work or whatever the remedy is, whatever the solution is, it, has, it won't work. <laughs> and of course they're right because they, their body won't allow them to simulate and uh, it won't work for them, okay? So, you know, if you have friends or family that have these problems, you know, allow them to resolve this on their own, encourage, but they still have to choose. You want to say anything, hon? Anybody else? Okay. Alrighty, so a lot of um, the negative things is just, it has a root. Um, the root is just fear, okay? Um, and blood, if you think about it, it needs to flow. It needs to flow somehow. So if you're not flowing um, with life, with things, and allowing joy to um, be assimilated through you and into you, then, um, you know, you're going to have some sort of blood pressure problems anyways. Okay, it's just stopping the flow of things because this is the circulatory system that you're interfering with. Okay, and things, if they're not circulating well, you're not happy and your body is telling you loud and clear that things are not flowing. Okay, so um, that's the emotion, emotion part of it. So um, someone, uh, when it comes to these emotions, mm -hmm. Um, we, we were talking about these emotions so that people could look and get to the root of the problems, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So think through these emotions and maybe they can deal with those emotions and um, eventually get yeah. healed, the physical. Yeah, and they can make conscious decisions to say, look, I'm going to let my kids be my kids <laughs> and, you know, let them deal with their problems and like my mom, not minding her own business, <laughs> things like that. Um, so you, you look at that and you just make conscious decisions, declaring to yourself that this is no longer me, I'm going to be this, this other way. Yeah. 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 That is really accurate. Um, some of the people that come to me that to have these problems, I, I help them resolve it. I sh share with them certain oils, but I help them find that these are some of the things that they actually feel inside and believe inside. Of course, when you believe it and you feel it, um, it's part of you and you will make it real. You make it so that it, your reality is that. So you get rid of the emotional root and the, mm -hmm. it'll help the main yeah. physical part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you have to lose, right? Except for some negative energy. All right, so that's good. Anybody else have anything they want to share on that? Right. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we'll just move on to the essential oils, okay? Um, you know, essential oils are so powerful. It goes into your brains. It helps your brains produce happy chemicals and relaxes it. Like we talked about um, cardamom earlier, it helps you um, relax and take yourself out of the picture. And when you you calm down, you actually can see things for what it is, okay? Um, so basil, lemon, and lime oils are these neutral oils that actually balances um, blood pressure. So if you use these often, um, it helps whether your blood pressure is high or whether it's low, it helps you find homeostasis. So basil, lemon, and lime. Sounds like a salad. <laughs> So would those be to put on topically or would you take them internally? Um, well, I would do both. Yeah, I would do both. Okay, so high blood pressure. Um, basil, marjoram, lavender, ylang ylang, cypress, and pedigree. Um, and here is a blend that my mom used and she used it um, you put the ylang ylang, helichrysum, frankincense, marjoram, and cassia, and the recipe is all online here, guys. Um, mix it in a 10 ml roller bottle, rub it over your heart and the reflexes of, of your heart on your hand, so your left hand and your feet, that's correlating to the heart. So it's the left hand, left feet, and over your heart area too. Okay, so she did it morning and night, um, and this was her blend for the first almost two years. 
okay? and of course your your affirmations or your new thinking um, thoughts or script will be you know the opposite of what we talked about so I love myself I'm enthusiastic about life um, you know I let people be okay things like that um, so that's what we did with my mum okay and people with low blood pressure you can mix I don't know a special blend <coughs> sorry um, but basil helichrysum cardamom and rosemary okay so these oils um, I just invite you to uh, be intuitive about this and um, you know, make your own blend in different combinations of these four oils and see how that works for you. Could be something that you put in a veggie cap. Or yeah, veggie cap. And smaller. Yeah. I'd say I say do both because you want to smell these oils too. Okay. All right. So in conclusion. I have one question though. For the um high blood pressure, that would only be a roll on, or would you also make a combination of that in a veggie cap? I, I would roll it on only. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. yep. Good question, Beth. Okay, so in conclusion, we need to clean our cells, feed our cells. Because if we have debris in the way, you can see how um, it stops with the, the flow, um, sleep and rest, but we need to manage that emotion. Okay, because the emotion actually holds toxins in too. Okay, it holds fungus in. Um, you know, when we need to hold on to rubbish, we, we actually physically, our cells hold on to rubbish. Um, and, uh, you know, keep using essential oils to help release all the negative energy and, um, you know, detoxing your body because you don't have to do it alone. Sometimes we force ourselves to think positively in a certain way and it's really hard. But, you know, smelling a really nice um, smell it kind of helps you relax and um, it, your body does it naturally. Okay, so we have people that um, go to the dentist uh, and prior to the dental surgery, the dentist would just give them um, just plain old lavender oil, one drop, two drops in their palms and they just cup it over their nose and mouth and just inhale for a good 10 minutes, just keep on smelling that. And it helps lower their blood pressure um, so they can go into you know, have their oral surgery without panic and you know, raising their blood pressure, which is very dangerous sometimes. Yeah. Anyone else with um, questions or comments? So, um, Peaches, are you still with us? Did she leave? I think she had a log out. Uh -huh. um, that's okay. So I have a little uh, poster here at the bottom too. If you, it's just a summary. Okay. So there you go. So you can have a, you can print that out if you want to. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much it. Um, and it's been almost seven years now. And, um, my family still good. My mom still doesn't need to um, go back on any medications or anything. She's really happy. She's able to be um, a grandma to nine grandkids and she gets to go on vacation every four months or so. <laughs> so she's really happy that, um, you know. And we know that there's a lot yeah. of people listening to the podcasts or um, watching the YouTube videos. If you do have any questions or something, this is the perfect place to put them. Just leave your um, comments here at the bottom mm -hmm. and we'll read yeah. those, answer them. And yeah, and please share. Yeah. If you have um, an experience, you know, share so that uh, helps encourage other people to try this too. Because I know that um, some people, they think that that's something that they have for life because they're getting older. Um, and for those who are listening, it's just jadebolden.com slash blood pressure hiking. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, that, well, thank you guys. Pretty simple. Any other questions from our television audience? <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Um, I, these 
this is a pretty simple topic, and you can see that this, the solutions here are not take this and your blood pressure will magically go away. But the basic concept is getting your body healthy. And Jay started with the basics here. Take a holistic approach, you know, clean your cells. Mm -hmm. We talk about the cleanse and restore. We go up over that a lot with people. Nourish your cells. Um, sometimes what you think might be blood pressure or some disease or anything like that, symptoms, is actually just nutritional malnourishment, deficiency. nutritional deficiency. So mm -hmm. get because it's not just about the macronutrients, the carbs and the the protein that you're eating. But it's all the little micronutrients, the vitamins that you're getting. Just take care of it and get some supplements in there. And, and it, a lot of people find that you know they get they feel healthier and some of their concerns go away. Yeah. Just just through that. So I have a strong belief that we don't just have health problems um, to afflict us. You know, we have it to help us learn. So if we are trying to get over some health problems. Um, I, I hear people come back to me and say, hey, you know, this one thing, apple cider vinegar helps everything, or this one thing, um, and over and over, I just feel like you, you're just looking at the, the tip of the iceberg, because at the end of the day, when you've healed, have you learned your life lesson, okay? So that's more important, I feel, than fixing the problem now. That rash has gone, yahoo. Um, but, you know, it will come back again if you, if you have those same thinking patterns. So, um, or the trapped yeah, emotions until, or energy. Yeah, until you resolve those, uh, you know, emotional problems, it's just going to be Groundhog's Day over and over again. And it, it can get very frustrating for you until you actually sit down and go, okay, what is this? I've really got to look at it and fix it myself yeah. and we do have the ability to fix it and sometimes we're so afraid that it's just too big for us too scary too difficult um, and we just want to fix the symptoms now so we can feel better um, but we do have that ability to to resolve it permanently mm -hmm. yeah there's what like, our authors like louise hay and stuff basically you know saying everything goes back mm -hmm. to some sort of uh emotional trapped energy or yeah. one of those problems so if you you know go to dr mccullough's um, website and if you click on um say blood pressure i mean he has so many different solutions to it but it's always still a holistic approach um so anybody that gives you one solution is probably not telling the truth the whole truth so that's it for blood pressure, everyone. Thanks for right. coming. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here. Now. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.